Roger Groovis. Welcome back to Turn 11 of Dungeon Quest. This is my um, personal edition, deluxe edition. And I just want to explain, if you guys didn't know, I did this little box. And of course, this is my the original box, and I added all the other stuff for my personal deluxe edition of Dungeon Quest. And I will upload this file so you guys can do this if you wish. All right, let's get into this because it's pretty exciting, I think. Um, as always, we're going to move up the Sun Tracker for Churn 11. And we left off with, again, Vol Volrek is in the Catacombs. That little arrow is representing him. So we're going to come over here to the Catacombs deck, cutting. And let's see what he finds in the Catacombs. Oh, you saw me cut that deck, right? You saw that. He found that is the biggest treasure in the catacombs, but he's got to get out of there. So, still looking for an exit, but he found the giant ruby worth um, 35 gold. You know, I thought that was 3,500, but still, that's good. 30, 350 gold pieces. I think there's another one in there, though, because it makes mention to it. Okay, so Ulav is down in um, a trap door. Remember the trap door that we found? And the rule with that is we have to roll his agility or less so he can get out. And so his agility is 5. We're going to take the D12. And we need a 5 or less for him to boost himself out. And now uh, that is a 9. So Ulov is going to stay there. And now for the big one. And I thought about this. Do we push our luck? The dragon's still sleeping. We got a lot of treasure. This is a very good high score. That's, I, that's how I approach Dungeon Quest, like an 80s arcade machine. You know, you play, you know you're going to lose, but you're just going for that high score. That's, that's the mindset to approach Dungeon Quest with and have the most fun with it. Um, you know what? I think it would be pretty epic to, um, to try to go for this. So I'm, this is it, I promise. Third time. We're going to go into the Cup of Ashara. And, of course, pull two, and then I'm leaving. No matter what. And we get a necklace. That's not bad. 500. This is it. I promise. After this one, I'm not going to stay. I'm greedy. Okay, and we're going to grab. <gasps> I did it. I swear to God, this wasn't loaded. I got, look at this. If you have the combined total, remember this in the thing? I know people aren't going to believe me, but I swear. On everything 10,000 gold I'm out but now we have to see if the dragon woke up I want you to know fair and square right coming right down here and I got one and, and so you know look at it, it's in there I'm gonna show you that dragon is in there I want you to see it so you know I'm not playing around Right there. It's in there. So we lucked out. We're done. Next turn, we are out of there. I have never done it. Caught on film. Both of them. The sunstone and the moonstone. Yes, I'm a geek and I freaking love it. All right, turn 11. We're out. Elderon is getting out of there. However, we have to consider something. He only has four life points. Another thing we got to consider how he's going to get back if, well, of course, I think he's just going to go back this way, right? Because, look, I'll do a top-down view. This is a pretty easy way to get back out. The only problem, and, you know, we're not going to even have a problem with this. You know the um, Portacolus right there? We have to test strength, but check this out. At the beginning of the game, he has the ring of opening. He's allowed to open up any door or any Portacolus without making, um, like, the strength test. So, whoo! I think I got a high score coming, as long as he doesn't get killed on the way out. Getting exciting. Come on back for turn 12 of Dungeon Quest. Let's fade out on Snowy. I will see you in a bit.